Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to talk about a app called Cardiograph Heart Rate Pulse Measure by MicroPinch Limited. Uh, this is a $1.99 app. It is a um, health and fitness kind of app. Um, if you want to, you know, check your heart rate or just by curiosity, you know, and keep a track, keep track of it. Maybe you've had some kind of irregular heartbeat or, you know, doctor just wants to keep track of that. Um, this could be actually a very interesting app so that you can track and measure your heart rate. And uh, if your heart has any, uh, you know, skip beats or stuff like that, well, this is going to be a nice little app maybe to show the results, for example, to your doctor as it will keep uh, several results of your heart rate. So, and you know, there's a little graphic if there's a skipped beat, stuff like that, you'll see it on the graphic. It um, is a nice little app uh, if your doctor maybe prescribed medication or gave you recommendations because of uh, some heart problems. Um, also, this little app might be quite useful. It is a 22.9 megabyte app. And it requires iOS 5.1.1 or later. It requires a device that has a camera and flash because it needs to actually use both of those on your device to work. It's $1.99, as I've said already. Once you've installed it, you have this little heart monitor. What you need to do is put your finger on the camera lens and just enough so that the flash will actually um, go through your finger and basically this is how your iPhone will be able to actually monitor your heart and once, once you got that what you do is click the little start button and it's going to adjust depending on where you are So as you've seen here, 72 beats per minute for my heart, didn't skip any beat. And uh, it puts the date and time of that uh, check. So if you uh, do many checks, you'll actually have um, all of that history. So if I look at my history, for example, here, I remember I used it a few times. Well, here it goes. One is 83 and one is 72. So you see both beats here depending on the day, depending on what you do. Uh, it could be an interesting one to see also when you uh, exercise and um, just want to keep track of how it's going in your uh, heartbeat history. Uh, so it's quite nice. It also will keep track of, uh, you see on the upper right corner map, if you are at different places, you can keep track of where you took your heart rate. And so um, all of that information, you can, uh, of course, click profile. Uh, you can add your profile so that you see here, this default profile, tap to activate it, uh, because you can actually add different profiles. So for example, uh, you are uh, two people, maybe you are, uh, you know, you and your spouse have, uh, both have, you know, heart problems and you want to keep track both if the people want to keep track or maybe with your friends or co-workers well you can add profiles and have all these people have their own profile of heart rate so it's uh, quite quite cool for that so um, I think this could be a nice app if you uh, suspect or do have some kind of heart problem at least you'll be able to monitor and what's cool is that you go to the doctor's office you click on your history and you show these numbers to your doctor and say, well, here, this is what it looks like. And uh, you, you can even show the little graph here and you can see if there's some, uh, you know, skipped beats and stuff like that. And of course you can delete all the results. Now, one thing that this app does not do, and you shouldn't use it for that, this is not a, uh, 
electrocardiogram. So this is not going to trace on that little graphic the exact beat of your heart like at, um, you know, in the hospital for example. This only measures heartbeat, not the rhythm itself, how your heart is actually beating. The graphic is only for checking uh, if, you know, there's skipped beats or maybe irregular heartbeats, then you'll see it on the graphic. And that's going to show something. But it doesn't show if your heart is beating correctly though. It's, it cannot do that. You need more measures and more information to be able to do that. So a uh, cardiograph, $1.99. It's not too expensive to, you know, monitor your own heart rate and understand if things are going well or not. And uh, hopefully you uh, will have a cool little app to monitor your heart rate. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have an app that you'd like us to, uh, you know, talk about. Why not ask away and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you will come back to the iPad Apps for Slick channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. As you see here, I'm moving my finger around the camera. So it has problem, you know. So you have little things that you can be careful with this app. Let's try it again. Try to be steady here.